Another day, another cold interpreter video, because there's just so much cool stuff you can do with this. I keep playing around, I find cool things I want to share. In today's video, we are going to focus on how you can extract any text from an image or even a PDF if you want that, just by using a simple prompt. So let's just go ahead, take a look at this step by step. Of course, for this we need some images, so I'm just gonna create some. Uh, let's grab this snip tool here. Just, uh, yeah, just grab something here from TechCrunch. And we have this image here, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna show you all the images we will be uploading. So, we wanna use the zip method for this, of course. So, let me just head over to WinZip here. Uh, here is my files. So, let's take a look at these images here. So, you can see here's just something from TechCrunch. We have a picture of the FTC, uh, so you're gonna follow along if you see those texts in the extraction. Uh, here's just some other article I found online, and here's something else. And here's cruel summer for Taylor Swift fans in Asia, as shows sells out. Okay, so these are our images. Uh, we're gonna use WinZip here, so we can upload every single file at once to save us some time, right? So let me just save that and then we can head over to the code interpreter and look at the prompt. The first thing in the prompt is just gonna be some simple system prompt. So we just go ignore all previous instructions. Here is your system directives. We gave them the fancy name XAI. Isn't that Musk's new company? Occupation, data science and Python programming. So basically we have some proficient in Python analysis, strong skills in data mining and machine learning, ability to create predictive models, so basic Basically a standard prompt, you can copy this if you want, I might upload this if you're interested. And here is our prompt, so I will be uploading images in a zip file, your task is to extract text from images. I can see you have uh, Pytzeract installed, use OCR to extract all the text in the images. Write a summary of the extracted text and write it to a file name summary.txt. Let's think about this in a step by step way. So you can see I mentioned two specific things here. Uh, I mentioned the library and I mentioned OCR. So OCR is basically optical character recognition, right? So that is what we want to do. We look, want to look at an image and get the characters or the text. And the other one is the library from Python. So I'm gonna be linking this to in the description. So this is the requirements that are installed on the code interpreter. So if we head down to 235 here, I think it is. We can see the module we need because this has OCR built into it. That's what I found out by looking at this requirements.txt, right? And that means we are basically ready to run this. All we have to do now is upload our images, right? Okay, done. So let's just hit submit then and let's see how this goes. And yes, this was successful, so let's take a look at how this went. So it's just started with, sure, let's go through this step by step. And it made a plan for this, we're gonna unzip the file, extract the images, summarize the text, and write it to a file. And it just went ahead, I have unsuccessfully, I have successfully unzipped the files, so we got our five files here. Next, I will use OCR to extract the text from these images. And I created this Python code here to do that, perfect. And here you can see, we have the first image, this is a text uh, regarding the strike, actor skill, writer skill against the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Second one is a uh, detailed analysis of the performance of the US stock market, perfect. This text announces the creation of a new organization by Elon Musk, the CEO of Twitter, called XAI. It didn't actually find the text on the FTC image, hmm. okay. And the final one was uh, high demand for tickets for Taylor Swift's concert in Singapore. Perfectly executed. So I think this is just very cool. Uh, I'm gonna be playing around with this. I'm gonna find some cool use cases. And you can see here, it wanted to summarize it, but it tries to use a lib it couldn't find. Uh, but however, I can provide basic summarization approach. Uh, would you like to proceed? Yes. And I'm gonna have to save this to a summary.txt. Uh, I just like that it can save files and you can just download them. So here you can see we have the same summary again. Very cool, right? Very easy to use and very cool. So yeah, I think basically that is what I wanted to showcase today. If you want to try this out, uh, you can follow the link in the description below to my website where you will find all the prompts I'm going to be using for code interpreter. I'm going to be uploading to that site. So just bookmark that pay attention i'm gonna be uploading a lot of cool prompts up there 
so for you find that in the description. Hopefully this was helpful, hopefully you can do something cool with this, so thank you again for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.